Hey guys, welcome back to Tamiya Legends, and once again, thank you for stopping by. So, yes, we have an ORV chassis video today, which stands for Off-Road Vehicle, if you weren't aware of that. Um, so I need to give you a little bit of history of why I'm making this video, because I've actually had this Tamiya Frog donated to me, which is just incredible. Um... Now, the reason the DTR3 is there, uh, because I did this quite recently, and this is my, obviously, as you can see, my sort of frog tribute. Um, not the first to do this. Um, hundreds, if not thousands, have, have done this livery on it. It's kind of designed for it. But I was really happy with it, how it came out. But in that particular video, I don't know if it was on the chassis build or the body set video, but um, that I, I kind of got in the video, I said, like, that's my frog now because i don't have um a frog in the collection um so a gentleman in the u.s called doug um contacted me i know doug i've not spoken to him a lot but uh, i know doug's work because he posts on the tammy legends facebook group a lot and uh, he's got an extensive extensive collection but um his photography is pretty awesome as well when he shows his cars and i i, I really kind of appreciate that so anyway just out of the blue i got a message from him and he said, look, um, I, I know you haven't got a frog. I've got a spare one. Um, could I donate it to the channel? And I was like, well, so as always, that's super generous of you. Thank you. Um, as I always do, offer to pay the shipping. And he agreed, which I always like. Um, we had a little bit of a tricky shipping. Again, only from the US to Canada. But, um, yeah, there was some kind of third party involved. And for a moment, or a couple of moments, it looked like it might not arrive. But um, anyway, luckily it did. Still sealed, just awesome. But there's something about this that... So obviously, Doug, if you're watching, massive thank you, my friend. But it's the message Doug sent me, which blew me away. So I'm going to read it to you, hence why I've got the... Uh, oops, Chromebook. Now, I read this, obviously, when he sent me it, and... I'm a bit of a big softer, if I'm honest, and uh, I absolutely choked up over one bit of it, and uh, I'll try not to do it again, but um, the point is, before I read this out, and all you guys and girls who lived through the golden era of RC, certain cars have a, a meaning to you, um, and it's deep, the meaning is not here, it's here, if that makes sense. For me, I've got two cars. Obviously, the Tamiya Grasshopper was the first RC car I ever saw. Again, my mate Richard had it. Um, and so the Grasshopper will always have a special part, and more so, probably more so, is the Tamiya Thundershot, which was my first kit I built. So those two cars are in here, if that makes sense. So I never really think of that for others, if I'm honest, but... Yeah, obviously everyone's the same, but we're different cars. So he sent me this letter. Um, I'll try to read it out. I'm useless at reading on camera. Anyway, this is from Doug in the US, and it starts with my frog story. <sighs> Take a deep breath. The reason I wanted to give you a frog is because it's special to me. My father fell 65 feet in 1979, broke his back, and became paralysed for the rest of his life. Times were very hard for a while and my parents divorced in 1983. Both my sister and I were going through a lot and my dad did what he could to get me a frog for Christmas. He couldn't afford much so mum, mum bought the radio but neither could afford the battery and charger on top of that. This is a bit that gets me, gets me. So for the next few months I pushed it around the house with my foot to learn how to control it. <laughs> that gets me. Oh, that bit got me last time. I'll finish, sorry. Those mom moments were the happiest I'd felt in years, even though it didn't have a battery. My birthday came a few months later and I got the battery and charger for a present. I was even happier that the, the buggy they got me... Sorry, start that again. I was, I was even happier and that the buggy got me through some really tough times. And because of that, it holds a very special part of m my youth. A few years ago I bought a Riri to reconnect and while I was building it 
all those memories came back. I even remember pushing it with my foot as I wrote this. <clears throat> I'd bought a second... I'd bought a second Riri to have in the box on the shelf. Well, last year I found a new inbox original and I bought it. The box is all tore up, but everything inside in their blister packs, and I'm also happy to ha and I'm also happy to have it. One day I'll find a nice original new inbox frog so I can build the one I have now, and that brings me to the one you have. It became an extra one after finding an original new inbox. So without so without you not having a frog, I knew I needed to share this one with you. Everyone needs a frog. That's just my biased opinion. For me, it's not just a frog. It's oh, I'm useless. For me, it's not just a frog. It's a ray of sunshine in some rough days of my youth. <clears throat> Whew. Yeah. I don't know. That hits home. Obviously, I asked Doug if I could read this out on this video. <clears throat> um, because it's very personal. But, yeah. Just, you know, you just people's memories and the meanings of kits and stuff and you know it, here's the thing that i i learned again i've learned this lesson many times but you know if some sort of almost stranger you know wants to send you a kit um because it's one of their favorite kits and they want you to have one because you don't have one i don't really ever think of what it means to them if i'm honest but when you read something like that jeez you know what this kit means to uh, to Doug, which is just incredible. It, it's that bit. So for the next few months, I pushed it around the house with my foot to learn how to control it. Those moments were the happiest I'd felt in years. It didn't even have a battery. Oh. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I I I visual, vis, visualize that. Um, yeah, I just I just see him doing that, and uh, just I'd sent I'd sent that I copied that message and I sent it to Keith over at RC Icons, and just wanted to share it with him because I, I, I as I say I'm a big softy and stuff like that. Uh, Keith did a video and it's on this channel. It just talked about his Blackfoot and his his upbringing with it and his parents with the when they were young and stuff. And when it's really heartfelt. It gets you here, you know, because it's real. And Doug's message is as real as it gets. So, now this means something to me, if that makes sense. Did already, you know, it's fantastic generosity. And I'll have a re, -re frog in the collection. It's just awesome. But it's a little bit more special because of what it meant to the person who sent me it. I'm not trying to make this a mushy video, but it, it kind of is just by the nature of it. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's it. And the reason, again, the DTO three is out is because Doug's only stipulation is that once this is built, it has to sit in the cabinets above or below this one, so they're together. And uh, yeah, I would have done that anyway. But um, yeah, it's so cool. So Doug, again, and massive heartfelt thank you. And more so for allowing me to read that message out because I know all the good people in the comments are going to get that. Um, I'll be interested in the comments if it got you where it got me. Um, but anyway, um, so yes, that's the frog. Now let me go drag out another couple of kits with the same chassis. So I actually only have one ORV chassis in my collection, which is the Monster Beetle. Um, very soon we'll be building the Blackfoot. Um, I've had this kit, oh, I've had all my kits ages, but um, yeah, I've got the Black Blackfoot obviously to build because that has to go next to the Monster Beetle and Lunchbox because that, that trio has to be together for me. Um, shout out to Keith for us. Uh, I, oh my goodness, shout out to Keith for RC Icons. He's sent me basically, this is going to look identical to the original I've, he sent me the chrome um, original grill original decals and a kit to put the ford emblems on the bonnet but i've got the original tailgate to go on with the ford on 
So, yeah, it's just uh, to put that front forward badge on and then everything else is going to look identical to the original, which is just awesome. Um, so, yeah, this will be getting built very soon. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I got myself a Subaru Brat Riri, which I've been after for a while. When I say I've been after, I just it's it's in, always in the back of my head that I need one, um, a Riri for the collection, because I'd like to run this as well. Um, something very special about seeing a Brat run. Not even sure what that is, but it just looks so cool. Um, so as I say, I've got the Monster Beetle, will have a Blackfoot, and then at some point with Brat and obviously the Frog. Um, what else is there on ORV? There's the Audi. Not interested in that. It's just that's not really one that's ever interested me. Um, but once these are built in sort of long term future, hopefully one day. I'll buy um, another Riri Monster Beetle and a full Subaru Brat body set. So basically, obviously, as Tammy did, they used to mix and match parts and create another vehicle. So if I take the Monster Beetle chassis with yellow CVAs, I put the yellow Blackfoot wheels on it with the Monster Beetle tyres, put the Subaru Brat um, full body set on it, then I have a Tammy and Mud Blaster. And that's what I want to create because I'd 100% want a Mudler. That's another kit I'm crying out for. I've got three kits I'm personally crying out for. Number one is the Super Sabre, hands down. Number two is the Mud Blaster. And I would like to see the Hot Shot 2 come out. Not the Blockhead thing. That's not a Hot Shot 2. It's just not. Anyway, um, those are the my big three ones I would love to see. Um... But yeah, to get a mud blaster, get these built and to have a mud blaster with the monster beetle and blackfoot and lunchbox would be absolutely off the chart. So yeah, that was it really. Just a quick video. It was, it was a more for, more so just to talk through that the frog story because um, yeah, it was awesome. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. You'll don't know which one I'll build first. No idea, but um, or when I'll build them. But at some point, you will see these finished and built. So, my friends, Doug, massive thank you and respect, my friend. Um, and to all you guys and girls still watching, thank you so much. It's massively appreciated. And as always, yeah, you know what I'm going to say. Happy ass -ing.